bum ba ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum ba bum Hey everybody, how is it going? It's Super Turtle here back with my handlebar mustache. I'm telling you guys, that really looks like a handlebar mustache. I'm just I'm just being honest and that's what it looks like. But guys, today we're gonna do some exciting things. We're gonna finally tear this down and we're gonna build ourselves a real setup. Mm-hmm. Gonna redo all of this again. And I did go ahead and put a pulverizer here and glowstone still somehow got in here. Uh, I have. You should be getting in here, Glowstone. I put a filter here where you're blacklisted. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So that should be okay. It might have gotten in there before I did all the changes. I don't know. I don't know. But guys, uh, I was watching Iskow's video a few days ago, and he did enrichment chambers for the pulverizer. And I think we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do a few of them. So... I have pretty much everything made up. Oh. Or do I? Or do I? Ha ha ha. Um, I don't think I do. But induction smelter, coal, pulverized coal, and uh, iron. I think it's four to one for the coal. I think it's like a four to one. The coolest of the cool. Go like this, put the coal in here, and then we'll throw it into the induction smelter. We'll get ourselves some iron. I also went ahead and upgraded most of these to resonant. Uh, it was pretty easy. We had a bunch of the upgrades, as you guys saw from previous episodes. And if you haven't seen any previous episodes, you better go check them out, because we did a lot of fun stuff in them. So, But anyway, I'm going to let this all cook up, and I'll be Robbie's. Oh, rats. We got all of the steel that we need. Oops, not that. All the steel that we need to go ahead and make these. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll make, we'll say eight. All right, so I already went ahead and made these uh, basic circuit things with the mechanism uh, metalluric infuser. So it is set up over there, pretty simple to make. Let me show you the recipe real quick. There we go, and yep, just pretty simple. Two furnaces, two furni, osmium ingot, uh, two redstone and four iron, and you get that. All you gotta do is give it uh, power and redstone and it will make them. So we can go ahead here and we'll make... Hmm, that wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. So they don't stack, which is a little lame. Uh, let's see here. Basic energy factory. I believe this is the next tier up. But it looks like we have to do, do this by hand. All right. This is so great. Um, who didn't think this through? Can't believe you've done this. All right, and then to upgrade them to the next tier. Oh, is this. Hold up. So we need to make the advanced ones. Oh, that's pretty simple. I believe that's 16. We need to... Oh, no, it'll be more. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. I can't brain today. I got the dumb. Okay. So one done. Two done. And the problem is with these, we may end up like only needing like two or three. Um, but I believe we'll probably need to upgrade our power gen with this because unfortunately, I don't think these... A uh, lot of these magmatic generators are going to cut it for much longer. So that'll be fun. Uh, so let's have a look at the interface for these bad boys. Let's go over here to our power cell. We can get some power to it. All right. Okay. Show, show, show. Put that in RF per tick. And this is the power we want. That is really loud. That is really loud. So what it does is it basically separates it above that. And there you go. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and fix all that. But you can see I have a bunch of materials, stoneworking factories, and all of that other shenanigans. Um... Head here like so. 
And we'll put all these just in here. Okay. Oh yeah, collecting all the stuff and things. And we won't need this guy anymore. We'll have to move this guy, move this guy. Actually, let me go ahead and clear all of this up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the design I have come up with. We'll put some reinforced blocks around the edges there. Uh, but what it is, is awesome. Actually, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this will be okay. I was thinking because all of these have the board on the bottom, we might need to eliminate the bottom one, but we will go ahead and we'll match it over here so we can extend this down by one more and have some more machines over on that side. Uh, so what we're gonna go ahead here, uh, as you can see, I have a power cell here uh, with an energy conduit and item conduits on the back. And we're gonna go ahead and loop these around to each other and then we're gonna pull out of these because this will be, um, hmm, hold up, we need, okay, I wanna keep the look of it like this, but we're gonna need some furni in the back. Um, let's see here. I have one redstone furnace. We're gonna need to make some more. Going to need to make some more. I'm, oh, we got like nothing. Don't need bricks, we got no bricks. How do you make bricks with clay? Obviously, have I forgotten the basics of Minecraft? All right. Now the weird thing was, is I made some conduit covers here and yeah, I, I smelted up some conduit and I was getting double, um, which I don't, oh yeah, that's right. When you smelt one of the binders here, you get the conduit covers, you get two of them. All right. Let's make some of the bricks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, or go 20, call it good. Okay, and then to make a few of these. Okay, we got 10 of those, make some copper gears. Or 64 on accidental purpose. Okay, and boom. Okay, I think we have too many. But it's better to have too many than not enough, correct? Correct. Actually, does mechanism have something like that? Let's have a look here. At mechanism. Mechanism. Um, basic bin, that'd be cool. To look at what it does. Oh, found it. Oh, wait, that's a compressor. Okay, so that's not it. It would be like a furnace almost. Smelting factory. Okay, we're gonna make the smelting factory. So we're gonna. I, we just wasted our time, unfortunately. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be making. Gonna make some. How many do we need? How, how many do we? Flip and knee. We need one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're gonna make the max tier ones. Basic. Okay, so energize the smelter. Oh, and we need some more of these. Okay, so we have eight. We only need to make five. Hold up. What was that called again? What were those called? Energize smelter, I thought. Oh, we gotta make these. Okay, and then we can make you. So one, two, trace, force, fives. That was total English, right? Okay, so now we make the, oh, what do we need to make? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One. Two, three. The world may never know. I, for some reason, when I when I heard that, it just oh, ooh. What are you? Oh, diamonds in those. Okay, so we're gonna need to. We're gonna go ahead and make these. So let's make some more of those. I'll show you guys how to make them too. It's pretty cool, and I think we should probably move this machine closer to base. Yeah. All right, so just for now, we're gonna go ahead and throw it here. And there it is. All right, so it's getting power. You just throw some, oh my gosh, we've used a lot. And we do have four of those upgrades in. Let's go ahead and get mechanism up and running. 
All right, so the speed upgrades. Osmium dust, okay. Let's grab some osmium. Let's go over to our favorite pulverizer. Let's pulverize some of this stuff up. And we're gonna have to put speed upgrades in all of the other guys. And then increased energy efficient efficiency. Okay, so we can make a few of these as well. So let's do it. Energy efficiency, that's gonna be like our best friend. So we got eight here. Go to upgrades, we're just gonna put him here and it should upgrade. Oh man, that is cool, honestly. The fact that you can increase speed and efficiency, that's awesome. So as you can see, it's going up here, and... Okay, so we don't have max speed upgrades, but it is producing some crazy power. Or it is, it is like 20 RF per tick, which will make everything so much more manageable. So we only got four of these here, so let's throw them in. Get the rest of them. Okay, and then max is... 10 times faster. So let's have a look here. And how much RF? 200 RF per tick for one machine. Jeez Louise, that is crazy. These guys are going to be nuts. Because you can put all the same upgrades in here. Okay. So we should be good with that. We're going to dump all the redstone out. We're going to grab... Oh, hold up. How do you put the diamonds in? Do you just throw them in here like this? Nope, it's different. Uh, let's see, where's the mechanism machine? Energy enrichment chamber. Aren't you an enrichment chamber? Let's see. Yep, yeah, okay, perfect. So just a stack of diamonds, not nothing, nothing too crazy. We've got all of the things in the world we could ever need. Okay, so we're gonna throw some redstone. Oh, wait, we just made a whole bunch of these. Just kidding. Okay, upgrades, boom. Upgrades, boom. We're gonna upgrade all of these. We're gonna need, if you need eight, you're gonna need a lot. I'm not gonna do the math. Cause my brain kinda hurts. Okay, we're gonna let that go for a bit. So how much is this? Was that 2,000 RF per tick? Did we just like drain all of our power here? No, we got, we got so much power. Like all, okay, so all of those are firing up. So we might have to do some speed upgrades on those to produce some more power. This is hauling along. Okay. So another four in there, all right. Wait, hold up. Yep, that's not going to go in there, but it'll go in here pretty good. All right. Let these smelt up and I'll be right back. All right, so those have all been finished. Let's go ahead and put the diamonds in there. Ooh, that took a lot. Okay. Um, so let's see here. Smelting factory. Okay, so we need some of these. Okay, so let's just these bad boys put in here. Look at that. And then to make these, okay, so we're just gonna need a lot. We're gonna need a lot. Metalluric infuser. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and make a second one here. And we're gonna throw some redstone in it. And we're gonna go throw some iron in it. Redstone, iron. There we go. Obviously, this thing's pretty sluggish. Pretty sluggish. So I'm gonna be honest, guys. I, I I haven't really used mechanism in like before. This is pretty much like the first time I'm using it. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, so now we can go ahead here and upgrade this one. Let's get the final that. And then you can get it. Now we're gonna need to make the efficiency ones again. You only make five, darn it. Oh, and we're still doing speed, huh? Seven and eight, perfect. And then the efficiency upgrade. 
1.4 KRF. Wow. So if we don't do, oh my gosh, if we don't put the uh, the better ones in there, we're gonna be hosed. Okay. So we need pulverized gold. Is that it? We can do that. Oh, we got osmium left. We got os. Uh, excuse me. Jeez, Louise, turtle. Don't you know not to burp during a video? Okay. So we're gonna need our yet a wrench. Here. I was just thinking. I was just thinking. We're going to need to break up the... Okay. We don't want these interconnecting. Actually, we might want these interconnecting on one side. I think we just need to have blues connect. Blue's clues. No, wait, we're gonna, we'll, we'll pop them out over there. Okay, so those are all unconnected. And so what we wanna do is we want to extract on green and insert on green. Yep, okay, so that's going. Let's get it, let's go ahead and grab a mesh here real quick. I should have some diamond meshes. Oh yeah. Whoops, whoops. Okay, so we can throw diamond meshes in each of these. All right, there we go. So this one should be, yep, okay, so we're going here. So we're going to extract on blue, uh, oh, on brown, and insert on brown over here. And then we're going to extract on blue, and insert on blue. And we're going to extract on purple. So, let's see. Yep, that's coming in. Look at that. We already got an iron chunk. Why aren't you extracting? Oh, I do this. Okay, is there like a configuration thing we have to do? Item input. Look at that. <laughs> All right, and let's have a look at here again. Can we do something else? Hmm. So energy is all sides. Item, I wish you could put them on all sides. But I mean, auto eject is on. So if we have something inserting on green, I think we should be okay. And so we do have I mean, we are getting stuff again. It's just this is going to get pulverized, and we need to put the other cool stuff behind it. Oh, look at that. 32 of these bad boys. All right. So let's look up smelter. I don't feel like uh, smelting factory. There we go. So we're going to need to make five of these. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And five of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unfortunately, I just remembered that. And then there we go. So the max tier of these. We should be able to make all of them. Oh no! Uh. I've got two of these left. Oh no. Well, it's a good thing I made a bunch of them. We'll put half a stack back into there. We'll let that go. So we're going to go ahead here and all of the ones that we have upgraded to max tier, we'll put uh, we'll put behind, unfortunately. I, I, I'd really love to see these, but it's going to mess up the symmetry of it. So that goes here. This goes there. And this goes there. Okay. Okay, so we can just pull out the sides of these, which will be, which will be cool. It'll be cool. So we're going to insert here on purple. And let's see, does that work? Might, might have to do, it says it is. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna be able to extract out of these. Uh, which, is qu which is quite unfortunate, honestly. Um, we're gonna have to use some conduit covers. And have these, okay, so we're gonna have to move these actually. 
Gonna have to move them. Put the conduit cover. Put the conduit here, and we'll just cover these so that way it looks fine. And there you are. Yep, okay. So extract on green and insert on green. If I do that. Okay, we need to configure it so that the right side. What is going on? Maybe, oh, there we go. So we have to set the front to be import, huh? Okay, so this is smelting it, but it is incredibly slow and incredibly loud. All right, so we got the other 32, so we can go ahead here and finish this up. Oops, that was, that was wrong. Didn't hit shift. Okay. So I believe there are actually sound upgrades. Not to make it louder in mechanism, but to make in this, oh, mech. We're just gonna type in mech. Let's see here. Yeah, muffling upgrade. This is gonna be our best friend. So how much steel do we have left? Huh, not typing anything. None. Okay, time to make some more steel. I will be our bees, peeps. All right, guys, so I think I've got everything set up here. We've got sand being uh, sifted here. We've got dust being sifted up in the top two, and we've got gravel being sifted down in the bottom two here. I would also, let's see here, for things that can't go into the compactor, so on brown, okay, so we're gonna have to set up something kind of nif, that's, that's not the right one. Okay, so what we're gonna do here we're gonna go like this, and for items, hmm. Oops, that's not good. Oh, okay, I grabbed it. <laughs> All right, uh, so this is gonna take a little bit of thinking, so we need to extract on brown and insert on blue, obviously, and get some power to this bad boy. How are we doing on power? I think we're doing okay. So I wanna be able to get the grains of infinity out of here, but it looks like because of how we have it set up, we might have to do something like this, and then, na 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 like maybe this gonna be really ugly. That's not the right block. And in, oop, okay, we turned it. And we'll insert on brown, but we'll set the priority to negative 10. We won't extract anything. So everything that can't go in there should be extracted. Right? Brains of infinity. I mean, brown is connected to it. Um okay, that should be okay. Hmm. Oh, this one isn't set to extract. There we go, there we go. Yep. And is it going in here? No idea. <laughs> okay. So it looked like though glowstone, yeah, glowstone can get into here and block it. So what we're gonna need to do is set up some item filters up at the top. We just need the basic ones, nothing too crazy. And this way, oh, filtering for dummies, thanks. And what we'll do is insert we will put a filter on there, a blacklist, so glowstone cannot go in there. And then we can add to this whenever we get something that can't go in there. And so now glowstone will not be allowed to get into these two chambers. And should, in theory, just go right to our thingamabobber. Yeah, but the glowstone's gonna go into here which is blue, that's blue. Okay, so it, yeah, it'll, it'll come out here. 
All right, so this is our new system, all set up and good to go. Um, we will probably have to worry about some power gen because I'm not 100% sure we can keep up. Uh, so each of these produces 40 RF per tick, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten per. So that's what, 800 RF per tick we're producing. Um, you know, it's staying up. I think it's because because it has to wait for these to compact that it's able to maintain this. So, But I am definitely liking it, guys. If you are, please let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, let's go ahead here and seal this up. And look at that. We are all good to go. Check it out. You can see the conduits. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and we fixed our processing thing. I'll see you next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.